Welcome to this presentation of the Accenture Banking Podcast Series. In this podcast, John Keast, lead for digital in the North American banking industry, has joined us to discuss how banks can successfully build consumer relationships in the digital age. John, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. John, based on Accenture's global research study, Customer 2012, what are the top strategies banks are now using to boost customer revenues? Yeah, there's really two strategies that we're seeing banks adopt to boost customer revenues. The first is to cross-sell and upsell to existing customers, and clearly they see their existing customer base as a very rich opportunity to promote and cross-sell other products. The second area that we're seeing from the study is the attraction of new customers to become new customers of the bank. And that also is a very important area. And both of these are areas where the digital strategy plays a very, very important role. Do you have any specific insights into how retail investment strategies are aligned to drive these strategic goals? What we're seeing from the study is really two key areas of focus for these investment strategies. The first is to improve customer insight capabilities, the ability to understand more and more about what a customer is thinking and the behavior that they exhibit. And the second is to improve and further expand the number of channels, and in particular, to get the channels working well together. And by channels, I mean call center, the retail branches, and the online digital channel. And to get these different channels working in a very cohesive, orchestrated way is certainly going to require a very coordinated approach in order to maximize the business benefit that can accrue. The online channel, of course, is is worth stressing that this is a, a critical area given that it's now potentially the largest branch and certainly the primary battleground for influencing customer choice. If developing or improving new channels is a main priority for financial institutions, John, how important is the digital channel in acquiring and growing customers and deposits? The digital channel is hugely important, really, really important. And uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, the online digital channel is now the bank's largest branch and the primary battleground for influencing customer choice. And with the advancement of internet technologies, the way that consumers shop and purchase and service banking products and services are being transformed. And the digital channel is the sales engine to really try to harness the potential of these opportunities is now hugely important. So really, I can't stress enough that the key words here are around agility and intelligence, being able to move and respond quickly and having the insights about your customers in order to make informed decisions. Can you give us an overview of what a digital ecosystem looks like? Yes, the digital ecosystem really today must have a very intense focus on relevance. And by that I mean the the experience must be highly tailored to the intent that the visitor has when they're interacting with the bank's website. And typically in the past, the approach has been a very generalized, one-size-fits-all approach, which today won't support the sort of growth that businesses need. So today's ecosystem must be very, very relevant, very personalized to the visitor's intent, and certainly must be continually optimized using the intelligence that we can derive from the analytics. The proof point of all of this really is that the ecosystem must do three things. It must generate more leads. It must provide the ability for those leads to be directed to the right channel, whether that's the branch, the call center, or whether they maintain their presence on the website to complete their business. And lastly, it must materially increase the conversion rate, the close rate, as well as enhancing the experience regardless of which channel the customer is interacting with. John, can you walk us through how a digital ecosystem can drive leads, increase conversion, and direct the visitor to the right channel to close the sale? The first step is really to find the prospect. And so the techniques that we use to drive traffic through 
paid or organic search or how to utilize the potential of social media and mobile is critically important. So we need to look at all of those channels as we start to target the particular prospects that we want to interact with. And then we must be very, very mindful of the fact that every visitor has a specific purpose in mind when they interact with a website. And so we must test and learn different marketing messages. And we must have the ability to be able to track and measure and optimize the different experiences that a customer has so that we learn what works, what doesn't work, not at the end of a three-month test, but consistently, every minute of the day, every new interaction with a customer provides the opportunity to do that optimization. Therefore, analytics is a critical part of building a visitor profile that can be augmented with either third-party or first-party data so that we can really build a profile that we can then tailor those marketing messages and the landing pages that the visitor sees. It's critically important that these different experiences that a customer has are delivered in real time. So relevance is one important word, but scale is the second one. It's very critical that as we perfect the ability to deliver relevant content in real time to a visitor, that we can also do the same thing in a scalable manner so that as the number of visitors increases, the user experience isn't affected either. All of that, of course, should give us a very, very strong foundation to test and to learn and to optimize the whole experience that the customer has. And if we do that correctly, we should get the business benefits that we're seeing, which is to drive more conversion, drive more cross-sell, more upsell, and attract new customers. So how should banks deploy a best-in-class digital ecosystem? And does the pace of change in web technologies pose any challenges? Yeah, that's a great question. And it's critical before embarking on a journey to achieve a digital best-in-class digital ecosystem. So there's a very clear description of what the strategy is and what the implementation roadmap is. So the first step I would recommend is figuring out exactly the path that you want to take, where you're trying to end up, and the incremental steps that you want to take to get there. Incremental approach is really critical. This is not one of those journeys that you should embark on a huge project. It should be done as a series of incremental deliverables, each one having measurable value that can be measured and quantified at each stage. The other important aspect of planning out this roadmap is to know where you're starting from and therefore knowing your baseline so that you can measure the gains on a continued basis is critically important. Two other things I'd like to stress. One is that there is tremendous opportunity to make quick short-term gains around an existing website. So we recommend that in addition to planning out the incremental roadmap that a client embarks on a series of quick wins to find and fix a series of issues that will deliver some short-term gain. And I think if that parallel approach is adopted, we can expect to see both short-term as well as sustained long-term business benefits. Final point I'd like to stress here is that this digital ecosystem is requiring a new business partnership between the chief marketing officer and the chief information officer. Typically, these two groups have been able to operate somewhat independently, and the world of digital requires that both of these functions start to collaborate in a new way that is going to deliver the business benefits required. And that's a very important point as we develop the strategy and the roadmap for moving forward. Lastly, why is digital diagnostics such an important first step in the journey to achieving a digital ecosystem? I think for several reasons. Firstly, it's critical to establish the baseline, and digital diagnostic tools can give you the ability to quickly take a snapshot about where you're starting from. So as you start to make the improvements, you can measure the gains and measure them against the baseline. 
The second point is that there is rarely a situation where an existing digital platform cannot or does not have areas that cannot be improved. So why not fix them right up front? Why not put a parallel effort in place where you identify the broken links or pages that are extremely heavy with content or areas of a website that don't meet compliance with standards? And it's a very simple process and a relatively quick process to identify those and to embark on a program of fixing them. It really does give a shot in the arm to the teams that are implementing the new digital ecosystem to see that they're getting gains quickly and right up front. So that's why I recommend it's a very important first step for all of those reasons. John, thank you so much for talking to us today. It was my pleasure. Thank you. You've been listening to John Keast, Lead for Digital in the North American Banking Industry, discuss how banks can successfully build consumer relationships in the digital age. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Accenture Banking Podcasts. For more information on services and solutions for banking, visit Accenture.com forward slash banking.